In this session, we're going to look at how we can incorporate property set data into our Civil 3D labels. Let me mention that I'm working in Civil 3D 2017. Let me also mention that the technique we're going to look at here is considered undocumented in 2017. It will not work in prior versions of Civil 3D. On my screen is a drawing that represents some existing roadway geometry. If I zoom in, we can see there are some utilities here as well. This green geometry represents an existing sanitary sewer pipe network. Just for a second, I'm going to select one of these structures. I'll come over to my Properties palette, and then from here I'll choose the Extended Data tab. When I do, we can see that this object is carrying property set data. Right here we can see the table name as well as the attributes, one for the owner and one for the SU value. The SU value represents the quality of the location of the structure. Let me move out. I'll press Escape to deselect. Now this is not the only object that's carrying data. If I select the pipes, I'll choose one here for example, I'll come over to the Properties palette, we can see this is also carrying the same property set attribution. Once again, I'll move out and I'll press Escape to deselect. At this point, you may be wondering how I created the property set data and assigned it to the objects. Well, I've created a video that walks through that process, and I've got a hyperlink on screen that you can click such that you can watch that video first, and then come back to this video to see how to make the labels. In the event the hyperlink does not work on your system, I will also have a link to the property set data creation video in the description for this video. So let's add that attribution to some labels. I'm going to start by going to the Manage tab. In Civil 3D 2017, we can access our property set data using this new button. I'll choose Define Property Sets. This brings up the Style Manager dialog box. From here, I can select my property set table. And over to the right on the Definition tab, we can see the attributes in that table. The trick to adding this information to a label style is remembering the specific text string used for the table and attribute that you'd like to label. Let's try it. I'm going to click OK. I will then add a label to the structure. I'll select the structure. I'll come up and choose Add Labels from the ribbon. I'll choose Single Part Plan. This gives me a nice existing label. Let me select the label and I'll click the grip and we'll pull this out into a dragged state. Currently this label is labeling the structure description and number. I'm going to add the additional attribution. We'll do that by editing the label style. I'll select the label and right click. From here I'll choose Edit Label Style. I will then click the Edit button. And in the Label Style Composer, I will select the Layout tab. Right here we can see the label in its current state. As you can see, this label uses one component called Description. I'm just going to add to this component. I'll come down to the Contents field. Let me click, and then I'll click this ellipsis button. I will then click at the end of the text string here, and I'll press Enter. I will then type my own code to leverage the attribution. Here's how we create the code. I'll create an open caret and an open bracket, just like we see on the other labels. I will then type PS, that stands for property set, colon. Then I'll add the table name. That was custom data. Let me mention that this is all case sensitive. I'll add a colon, and then I'll add the attribute name. In this case, we'll label the owner. I will then finish with a closed bracket and then a closed caret. Let's click OK, and I'll click OK, and OK and you can see how the attribute is now added to the label. Let's pan this over. Just for a second, I will select the label. We'll go over to the Properties palette. This attribution is editable, so if I was to change this to City of Dundee and press Enter, you can see how the label updates instantly. Let's go back and add the SU value to this label now. Once again, I'll select the label and I'll right-click. I'll choose Edit Label Style. I'll click the Edit button, and then we'll go to the Contents field here for the text. I'll click at the end of the string and I'll create a new code. Open caret, open bracket, PS, colon, the table name, same table as before, colon, and then the attribute name. In this case, it's sue value. I'm making sure that I'm matching the case precisely. We'll go back to a closed bracket and then a closed caret. I'll click OK, OK, and OK. Let's make one more change. I'd like to identify what this letter represents. We'll go back into the label style. I'll click the ellipsis button, and then I'll click in front of this code, and we'll type SU equals. I'll click OK, OK, OK. There we go, and that looks good. Now that we have those codes, we could add these to other label styles if we want to, using copy-paste. Quickly, we'll try that. I'll add a label to this pipe. I'll select the pipe, choose Add Labels, Single Part Plan. We'll back up and take a look. There it is. Let's add the attribution. I'm just going to steal it from this label style. I'll select that label, right-click, Edit Label Style, and then we'll go back in here, and I will steal this text. I'll right-click Copy, and then we'll select this label style. I'll edit, 
Looks like this one is using a single component as well. We will just add to that component. Let me click in the contents field. I'll click the ellipsis button. I'll put my cursor at the end of the text string. I'll press enter and I'll do a control V to paste. When I'm finished, I'll click OK, OK, OK. And we can see that data has been added to the pipe label as well. So let me mention again that the labeling technique we just looked at is considered undocumented. Technically, it's not considered an officially supported technique just yet. For that reason, there is no guarantee that it will work with every label style, nor is there a guarantee that this labeling trick will work the same way in a future version of Civil 3D. That being said, if you don't mind going rogue a little bit with your label styles, this can be a great way to incorporate property set data into your annotations. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.